Hello everyone, this is Sishing Sandy with a new flash tube update. Long time no see. It has been over a month and I have my baby. That is her, you can hear. She's eating right now, so I will not show her right away. And she makes a lot of sounds when she eat when she eats. So I can start with my story because I can show anything right now. My hands are busy. So Sunday fifth fifth uh, January I got my construction you call it that and it was not bad in the beginning but it got worse in the like it was really hurting like two in the night and I called in and they said yeah you can come in and we can check you out and you're supposed to have like three construct uh, yeah you know what I mean in 10 minutes and I had like two and a half so they sent me home we were home like one and a half hour and then we went back because I couldn't stand it I couldn't do anything I couldn't lift my feet to get into the bath to take a warm bath because that what they told me to do i just couldn't do it so when we get in again it takes only like 10 minutes for us to drive to the hospital i was open two and a half centimeters they didn't check the first time but the second time they checked and they signed me in and I was like good now we will we would just wait and it was so painful for me every construction I don't I'm so lost in the word like right now I haven't been speaking English for a while now um so I got the tents, do, do you call it too? When you have like small pads on you and it sends, sends um, electric things. So your muscle will just pull and I had it for like an hour but for me it didn't feel like it helped. And then I got four shots in my belly and we would see if that would help but it didn't and I got in Swedish we call it lustegas it's, it's a gas that you breathe in and it didn't help me either and I was so frustrated two hours after I went in I was open three centimeters and I was like am I going to only open open up half centimeter every second hour I will like die in bed but I was known that for the first uh, for giving birth the first time will take time and then I said give me the bath so they have like a big bathtub and I think I was there like in for 20 minutes or so and I just rolled around in the bathtub 
because it was so painful and I was in the room before the bathtub so like one hour later I get the feeling of something pushing down really really hard and I went in and called the doctor and they checked me and I was full 10 centimeters open so from 3 to 10 it's quite a big opening in one hour and the feeling of the pushing down is was so painful so I just start to push I it, I couldn't help it I, my body just starting to push by itself and I wasn't laying on my back I was laying on the side because I was going to get the shot in my back and when the doctor that gives the shot comes in I described my pain and she said that this shot would not do anything about that pain and asked me if I wanted the shot anyway and I was like no I, I'm quite afraid of shots so I was like no skip it because to not see the shot that I'm getting is more scary than a spider crawling in my face <laughs> and I hate spiders so we skipped the shot in my back and my body keep pushing and suddenly it felt like a water balloon just cracked on me so my water went in the middle of everything I'm still laying on the side and someone is holding up my leg because there was no time for me to roll over to my back and try to get my legs up I, they were just they told me just push if you feel like it push and I pushed and, and pushed and then they said the head is out and I was like are the head out already and they yes so keep pushing and I just went for it I took the last thing in one push and they told me to remember to breathe and for me I was thinking that if the head is out then the neck must be tight because she's still her body is still in me so I just in my brain it was like I need to get her out now and it went really fast and it went so fast that her head didn't miss misshaped many babies get like this really the skull is misshaped on the top her head it went so fast that her head didn't misshape and I think she's starting to be done with the feeding she would cut a little bit uh, but you need to push again um, after the baby is out because the cake need to get out and there we had some problems my body said that I still have construct construct constructions so the cake is too hard it's still 
like a rock and I didn't feel it and they just tried they push on my belly to try to get it out and it didn't work and they told me that I need to operate because it needs to get out and we moved me to another bed with her in my on my chest and when we were were ready to go I said something is pushing down again and the doctor took her hand and pushed on my belly again and the cake come out so I needed to move back to the other bed so I was moving back and forward but everything was good I got to be stitched for places three muscles were broken off but I didn't have any problems to pee or poo or any stuff like that that you need to be able to do everything just went perfect and I'm pretty tired of all the question of how are you feeling do you feel depressed or anything and no I always wanted a baby since I was like 23 24 I'm 28 now and I'm just happy that I have my little angel and that uh, she's perfect and everything went so well from from when we went in the second time to she was born it was six hours and they said that it's not usual that that happens for first For women that give birth for the first time and I, w I can say anything about it my friend that give, gave birth after me the day after she also had like six hours so maybe time changes but she has eating now so maybe she can show herself she's a little bit wet because she drools when she eats so I will just cover myself up first this is my little baby and her name is Liv oh. she is in the mornings she is happy on the nights she is cranky but I still love her so I, I have been stitching some days now and I do it when she sleeps and she sleeps on me You're making a lot of noise right now. But you don't understand me because I'm speaking English. <laughs> yeah. She sleeps on me like a little frog. And 
that's the only time I get stitching because the other time she's speaking uh, or looking around or she wants to be carried around because she likes to see light a lot of light and sometimes when she lays on my belly she is training herself she's training most her feet but some neck too because you need to be able to hold your neck if you want to be able to sit or walk and she is like me she's really strong in her legs she can stand by herself almost it's just that her neck is not uh, stable enough but here she is <laughs> so let's see if I can show any progress I will always hold her when I'm feeling filming if she's not sleeping because she don't like to lay by herself so let's try to get some stuff so I will say that it is it is 13th of February so I will see how long it would take for me to edit this and upload it and I'm sorry for my old videos that you cannot comment on but YouTube have changed so changed so I thought that if I chose the child friendly uh, type of videos people will still able be able to comment but they shut down all the comments so I need to have not a child safe videos it's weird to say that because I have this one here and I'm not cursing but that's how it is so the first thing I have one day left on a stitching time and I wanted to give her give it that one day now I count days and not weeks so I if I have stitched a hundred at least a hundred stitches in one day that will count as one day so this is how it will look like and this is what it looked like the last time this is where I am right now I'm filming in my living room so the light is a little bit off but I am one page finished it's like two extra rows on the other page like 10, 10 20 stitches down and half of the key is done this far away it looks pretty good but up close it's brown and green and boring next up is snow queen this is what she will look like 
I lay leave on the sofa and hope the our cat can join her, but he just ran away. This is where I was the last time. And this is where I am right now. And I'm now using my usual light and using the sunlight and the cam that is this is the camera shadow because I wanted the light on me and not behind me. So as you can see I have started on her skin and I have come down her necklace is starting like here and this is the whole thing right now and that I will film every time I have made two two projects because it feels like if I only have one, it's not that exciting to show. And she's trying to poop. So if it, it is some fart sounds, it's not me. It's her. Okay. Um, purchase and haul. She has changed her name. She was fast forward stitcher before and I don't remember her new name but I will put it like here. here. Um, DMC has decided to stop making memory thread and 123 stitch don't send out DMC products, product, products outside US or Canada and DMC UK comp uh, business place I contacted them and they were just so freakingly stupid they linked me everywhere but didn't ask me and answered any of my questions so Fast Forward Stitcher was so kindly to look on her LNS and she had this one extra and she found this. It's so beautiful. See the shine? And she sent me those. And I'm so happy because Otherwise, I needed to change this to Cranic Wire and Cranic are more glitter and this is more shine and I like the shine more. So, I really thank her for this too. Then we have fabrics and um, I have two packets and I don't remember which order they came in so we just show them. And I think I have like February, I think I have two packets left yet. So the here is one of the patterns and it's Happy New Year and you got this really hot pink thread with it and the sun is moving. <laughs> she is just lying and staring at the roof. And then we have You Are Mine. This is so cute. 
and we got some gold colored silks and this too was lying like this in the package and I think I accidentally got two um, so I have 28 count linen so this is new year and I hope this will show up It shows quite good. It's a golden yellow with some orange touch on it. Then we have old year. So this will be like new year but a little bit more oldish it's more a little bit more brown yellow with dark brown and orange spe speckle then we have chocolate river so this is of course brown with some lighter brown oh I forgot to get the pattern giveaway winner uh, this is happy sham shamrock and it is a little bit more green than that, but yeah. It's like inside of a lime, that kind of green. So, and yes, I did purchase some stuff from Lakeside Needlework before UK got out of EU and I don't know if they have done it because they said it would do it in 1st of February and I have not checked yet if they have done it I got some cranic I needed seven different cranics they only had one that I was searching for okay you cannot have everything in your shop, but some ribbons, at least, clinic ribbons, at least. Um, and I got some beads. And because it was my Christmas money, I wanted a pattern too, and I always wanted to try a Bella Filipina cross design. And I chose Reina Mar Mar Mariposa, which is this one. This is the first one that I saw from Bella Filipina. And I love it. And she has a lot of more patterns that I really, really love. And my birthday is in April. April. So we will see what happened then. And we will go and get some giveaway winners. So the first one is Swan Lake. It was this one and we have Three. Sorry, it's some other country just trying to call me all the time. We had three that wanted it, and oh, generate, and it's number one, and it is 
Karen Jorgen Jensen. I don't remember if it was the Swedish or English channel that you um, comment on, but I will comment on your comment if I can. Burp on you. <laughs> or I will, if you see this, just try to contact me. And the other one was this card and it was two that wanted it so we changed that to two and generate and it was number two and it is stitching Becca congratulations on you two and we will have two new patterns so the rules I will put up here so this is exclusive polyan pickering it is for me, it looks like two wolves. If you can see that, it's from Cross Stitch Gold, and the designer is I have no idea. Don't say you have back stitch, half stitch, and cross stitch. So, if you want to win this, please say, I want to stitch the wolves. And the cat is a pain in my butt. The other pattern is from Cross Stitch Collection, January 2014. And we have a cranky baby. And it calls winter pansies, and it looks like this. And it's back stitch and cross stitch. It's Leslie Tears pattern. So if you want to stitch this, please write, I want to stitch the flowers. Um, I think it's time to go because she's getting cranky. Are you going to say goodbye? Uh. To people? So, I will wait till next time I have a stitch on two projects and I will see how long this will take to fix so I will see you next time so bye bye